my mood after last night. the day after, the night before, or rather it's a, f a few hours after uh, the day of game four considering I was up until 3, 4 a.m. to watch it. Let's just talk, shall we? <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and if you're one of my kind of long-term subscribers, thank you for still sticking around and make sure to like this video for more content and also comment down below your thoughts on the Leafs v Tampa first round series so far or if you're a fan of another team, how are, how are they getting on? I've watched a few of the other games and uh, most of them are really tight. Most of them are really tight, unless you're Nashville. Poor guys, poor guys over at Nashville. And also check out my other social media if you're not following them already. I talk a lot of stuff on Twitter about hockey and I also have like a content page on Instagram where I do all sorts of things, leaf stuff here and there. So make sure to follow me there too. And also I'm now dropping my Spotify into this. And now let's jump into today's video, which is <laughs> why do the Leafs do this to us? And why, 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 just why? Why are the Leafs just the way they are? Basically we're just going to talk about the disaster that was last night's game in stark contrast to the way that they played in game one because I feel like venting about it to the internet because not too many people watch hockey here so the same like 10 people have to listen to me talking about hockey over here because the rest of my friends don't understand it so instead I post my thoughts on the internet Seems to be going well so far, so there's that. That's great. A lot of hockey friends. So just as a quick recap of where we're at in the series so far, because I will film more videos at the end of this round, whichever way it goes, I'll still film videos. So a uh, quick recap. So the Leafs started off this series with a 5 nothing win over Tampa, which was just insane. That was a week ago today. That was a happy, happy moment, even though it was 4am once again. But it was a happy 4am. Then in game two, they lost 5-3, which, okay, not great, but won all. It's fine. And then they won 5-2 in game three, which, excellent, series lead. We could have really, really, really got a stranglehold on them last night, but we didn't. Last night was game four, and the series is now tied 2-2 after last night's 7-3 loss in game four. 7-3! What? Okay, so two were empty netters. Two were empty netters. But it was 5 nothing for most of that game. It, mm, mm, take out the two empty netters, it was still 5-3, which Nylander really pulled something out of the bag towards the end of that game. Anyway, in terms of the series so far, Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner are both performing best in terms of scoring so far with six points each. Even though it's quite tight right now, we've got a lot of guys that were doing pretty well apart from last night. And TJ Brody actually has the best plus minus with plus eight right now. Although, Timothy Lilligan has a nice plus two right now, which is great considering the fact that he's only played two of the games. And I am seriously questioning why, why, why Hall was picked over Lilligan last night in the lineup. Why? What made you make that decision? I, mmm, mmm. We'll get to Justin Hall. But Lilligan, please, game five, Put Lily back in, I beg. Game four, three goals in the first eight minutes. It was painful, it was horrendous. Leafs, the game did not start at 7.30 last night, it started at seven, which means, the guess what, see the first half of that period, you were meant to show up, and they did not. They did not show up, nobody showed up. The whole team was terrible last night. None of them showed up properly, and that is ultimately the problem. You can pick on one player here, one player there, but ultimately, as a team, they did not show up last night. In the first period, Nylander, not the best. Until the third, Nylander, not the best. Go and insert a quick picture here of the fact that, why did he stop skating? The puck is right there. Skate for it, reach for it, grab it. Don't just kind of slow up and think, oh, it's okay, I'll just take this chill. No, stop chilling. It's playoffs. Jesus Christ. Campbell also wasn't on his perfect form last night. I'm a goalie lover. I am a Jack Campbell lover. I will, I will die on the hill of Jack Campbell. He was not in perfect form last night, but then again, if all your skaters aren't showing up, 
how the hell is he supposed to perform well? Definitely the right choice, taking him out and putting Shogren in. He was basically saved from that game last night. Shogren, excellent. Absolutely excellent. The guy that showed up best last night and he wasn't even meant to be playing. That is not how it should be. Hmm. However, Jack Campbell, glad he got saved from that game. Guy's been playing absolutely out of his mind lately and he deserved a bit of a rest. So I'm glad that he got that well-deserved break. But nonetheless, none of the guys were on top form last night, apart from maybe Shogren, because incredible. I was so impressed with him. So Justin Hall, let's just, right. I'm sorry, if you follow me on Twitter, you will know that I, I don't dislike any Leafs player. There is no Leafs player I would sit here and be like, I don't like them. However, everyone has a least favorite and someone that they rate the least. And for me, all season that has been Justin Hall. He has his moments, mind you, and sometimes I'm like, oh wow. Great, great job, Hall. But that's not most of the time. Most of the time I'm kind of like, what's he doing? Why is he doing that? Really? And last night was certainly one of those nights. He was in the starting lineup, which first, why was he in the starting lineup? He started off the first period pretty much as badly as you could. He made a terrible pass, a pass to nobody. And then he screens Campbell. You're screening your own goalie. No wonder we conceded within the first. What was it? Minute? Oh my god. Oh. Oh, it was so bad. It was so bad. And I can't put the whole thing on Hall because at the end of the day there's a bunch of other guys on the ice. But he definitely, definitely messed up there where he shouldn't have. And then you've got that post-game interview with Keith, where he has asked that dreadful question about starting with your worst defenseman, which I do not agree with in the slightest. You should not be asking interview questions like that. There is no need. If you want to ask a question about a particular guy, you word it in a way that Keith can actually answer. I don't know why that question was asked in that way. I don't agree with it. As much as I don't rate Justin Hall last night, I don't think he was good. I also don't think you should be coming out in an interview and asking why you played your worst defenseman. Like that's... Have some, have some like, I don't know. Surely, surely. As a, a media person, you know that that's not how you ask questions, right? Right? Honestly, someone give me a job there. I can do a better job, I swear. Anyway, Hall starts the game off on a wrong foot, along with the rest of his team. And uh, Hall definitely acts as a scapegoat at times for getting the blame where the rest of the team really should be held accountable too. So not just his fault, but he definitely did make a mistake. And I would definitely like to see Lilligren replace him in the lineup for game five. Inserting charts here to compare game one versus game four in terms of stats. So Tampa's power play in both is not that effective looking at these two games, which should in reality make our lives easier. However, when you look at the fact that there was eight Tampa power plays in a game, they only scored one of them. They only scored on one of them, meaning that the power play is not that good. However, getting that many <laughs> getting that many penalty kills is also not good for the Leafs' momentum anyway. So uh, yeah, pretty bad. There have been a lot of penalties called, a lot more than I expected, considering that it's playoff time and usually the game flows a little better. But anyway, nonetheless. However, the main contrast between these two are the giveaways and the takeaways. And it kind of sums up the fact that the Leafs just didn't show up properly last night. And it's Tampa, you can't not show up, even for one game. You can't let that slip. Tampa only outshot us by three goals last night, so where the hell was the finish? Why were we not finishing? Meanwhile, in game one, we outshot them 32 to 24, which makes far more sense. Just thought I would pop up a couple of, just a couple here just for a comparison. But in summary, last night's game was bad. It was really bad up till 3, 4 a.m. watching that kind of bad. That just made it worse. However, the series is only tied and uh, there is still time to make this better. It would have been nice to win last night, but then again, we had 3-1 lead in the series last year. Look how that turned out. So we can't really complain too much. I just think, see if we'd lost like 5-4 last night, maybe lost in overtime or something, people would be more forgiving. It's the fact that we got absolutely annihilated and we didn't really show up. I think that's the thing that's annoying people and it's the thing that's definitely annoying me. Because even if you lose, if you show up like a team that deserves the Stanley Cup, I can definitely forgive that. If it's tight, you're showing up and you just slightly get outplayed or you lose in overtime, I can forgive that. But last night, you can't 
do that. And I'm hoping it was an off game. I'm very much an optimist. I always believe in the Leafs. The Leafs could like never win a cup again in my lifetime and I would still be buried as a diehard Leafs fan. Like, I don't care. But I also think the games like last night are slightly embarrassing. And I just thought I'd share my thoughts on it, basically. So there, so there's my little kind of thoughts and insight into game four. Game five is tomorrow night. Excited for another late night slash early in the morning. <laughs> But it's, it's fine. Make it worth it and I won't mind. Okay, just show up on the ice, please. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you again probably this week because I'm just, I've got more time to film right now, so I'm enjoying it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time for more Leafs Chats. <laughs> Bye, guys.